Hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum uh, and shalom. Uh, so, first of all, Eid Mubarak to everyone, uh, uh, to those who are celebrating, actually. And I hope that, uh, and I pray that um, may God accept your fasts and your prayers. Uh, and I hope that it was a wonderful Eid. So, uh, yeah, so it's our second last community prayer uh, of this year, and uh, uh, welcome. Uh, it's uh, always nice to have you. Uh, today, uh, since it's Eid, uh, we are talking about Eid al Fitr. Um, Inas would be talking about it and uh, like would be uh, going through what uh, would be sharing what Eid is and uh, how she celebrates it. And uh, for those who don't know Inas, Inas um, is, uh, is a student here in, at HIU, but she has also, she has done her bachelor's in Islamic studies and um, 10 variants of Quran recitation at Umm al Qura University in Mecca. Uh, she also got her master's degree in education uh, curriculum and instructions at Fount Bonne University in the U.S. Uh, and uh, got her graduate certificate in Imam and Muslim community and graduate certificate in women leadership from HIU. And uh, she is currently pursuing her master's degree in interreligious studies. Uh, she, she is an agent uh, faculty at HIU since 2018. She teaches uh, courses on Quranic recitations and she is a Quranic, Quran teacher. She has been teaching Quran in uh, various mosques in the U.S. since 2016. So, Inas, the floor is open for you. Go ahead. Thank you, Fatma, for introducing me. I appreciate it and um, thank you also for uh, inviting me to do this uh, presentation and actually it's a very happy moment Papa. for me and it's very changing and um, beautiful things to do alhamdulillah so Eid Mubarak and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to everybody um, so as you can see just like some balloons and stuff very simple very cute maybe very like a childish <laughs> you can see uh, so I'm going to present Eid al-Fitr celebration in Saudi Arabia and how I celebrate it in the United States. So you can move on to the. So here, uh, why do we have Eid and why is the name of it Eid al-Fitr? Fitr means iftar, from iftar. In Ramadan, we usually have the iftar time where is we break our fast from that word is the root is coming to the celebration of eating and fitr means fatur breakfast eating we break the fast so this is how the word is coming from because of the full months of ramadan what muslim did a lot of effort to worship god in Ramadan, so here is what are the most things that we do. Fasting for 29 or 30 days around 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. around that time. It keeps changing daily. But when it comes to Ramadan, this is a long time for us to do. And then we stand all night praying from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Some people choose different timing, but this is the basic things that we do in Ramadan. And in the last 10 days in Ramadan, we pray 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. So we sleep little and we sleep mostly in the morning. And if people have work and job, they have to continue going job and work and very, very hard, very special months for us to do. Also, we do reading Quran. We do khatim. We read the full Quran, 600 pages. And then we give money either by charity, it's as an option, zakah, it's a must for all Muslim to pay. So we have to do it. So we have to fast, we have to pray, we have to do zakah. It's a lot of requirement for us to do in that month. So because of all of this, you can move to the second slide, please. Because all of this, 
we will think we did all of that work. Isn't it God? We believe he's merciful. Is he generous? Is he caring for us? I think, um, yani, don't you think after doing all the intense amount of worship, God wouldn't reward us? I think I really believe it in my heart. That's a big reward for all Muslims who is doing the work, uh, the, wor uh, the worship, and the one who is not doing the worship as well. So God is merciful and kind for all our effort. So that's why we have Eid al Fitr. Fitr from iftar is eating. So we have to uh, eat. You can move the next slide, please. Yes, here. So Eid is a reward from Allah after fasting and praying intensively. Allah ordered women, men, young, kids, children, infant, all, everybody you can think about, they are invited to come to the Eid prayer, which is in the morning. We have, we do it in the after sun uh, shine came, sunrise, then it, uh, we do the prayer all together. And he's, you can see, this is Medina mosque where the prophet Muhammad's mosque is. Uh, and you can see the woman in my culture wearing the abaya, the hijab one. So we, you cannot see our beauty dresses and all of that. This is hidden and we don't have pictures to show in this case, but this is the outside one. So women are um, yani asked to go to the masjid. Mostly women are not asked to go to the masjid to pray. They have the choice. But for this one, it's a special prayer. So women go out to pray with their children, with everyone. So everyone will receive the, you can move on, please. So they can receive the, the spiritual gift. So why God, why Allah told us to go to the masjid to pray all together? So everyone, will receive the spiritual gift. It's nothing is there in our hand, but it's in our belief that God, um, as mentioned in the Hadith and in the Quran, that the Muslim, they will go out and they will receive their gift. What they are, we don't know. So it's a surprise on the day of judgment, we believe is gonna come to us, uh, whatever God wanna, wanna give us. So, but everybody has to go out to receive the, the spiritual gift from Allah. So when we go to the place, the masjid, as you can see in the pictures, here are the men's section are separated from the women's section. And uh, so we have to take shower. All people have to take shower and we have to wear the most beautiful clothes that you have. It's prefer it's new, but if, it, if you don't have new clothes, then it's the most beautiful one you like to go and meet God on that day. So, and we attend the prayer in our best look and the best smell we have. So you can move on. Yes, so here are when we gather all together in the masjid before the prayer and which started after iftar time in Ramadan. So the last, the, um, the night before Eid comes, we break the fast in the sunset. From that time, this, Nasheed that we're gonna put is gonna be uh, the the things we say. So, uh, Dr. Hans, would you put this one, please, for a few minutes, and then we just can move on. So here is the uh, Masjid uh, Al Makki in Mecca. Yeah.
you can see, the men are, this is in the Mecca, where is the biggest place, right? In Kaaba. So the, he is very famous one and they all gather. So all people sing this one. So it's not a singing, it's like a praising God. We say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahilhamd. It has a continuation, I'll continue it a little bit. Allahu Akbar, kabira, walhamdulillahi kathira, wa subhanallah, bukratan wa asa. And we keep repeating it over and over. Every country has their own style, how they say it. But this is the Saudi style. And Okan memorized it the way I did it. So every year I was doing it with him. And this year he did it the way I say it. So we enjoyed it, alhamdulillah, together. And we sometimes choose different um, Turkish one or Egyptian one. They have different dialects, but the same words it's used. So that's what we do in the prayer until uh, we keep saying it all night. We are cleaning, we are doing a lot of work decoration, we keep singing it, we keep saying it until the prayer time it came. You move on, so please. Yeah, so here are some religious rules and there are some recommendations on Eid day. So here is some hadith that I, the, uh, from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he says, um, it's the day on Eid forbid fasting. No one, no way, like it's um, a sin for us to fast on that day, especially because the name of it is Fitr. We have to eat. And as you can see, the beautiful fruits and all of that, we have a lot of food and a lot of things on that day. So people really generous on the eating. So it's um, a rule, religious rule that we cannot, we cannot fast. We can fast the second day, but not the first day. And then we have to have, it's a recommendation to take a bath because the Prophet Muhammad, every Eid prayer, he take a bath, shower fully and wearing a new clothes and put perfume and put a beautiful smell. And then we go to the prayer. You can move on. Yeah, and then here is the beautiful part that it make the kids so happy and excited about it. Um, you can see here the children are uh, uh, carrying the candies and this is the Saudi style also. The, the dresses they are wearing is very traditional in Saudi. So they collect all the candies and they give all, the, everybody's giving uh, candies. I think it's, uh, it sounds like a Halloween. We knock the doors and we get candies and we give candies. So we, everybody's share, exchanging the things. And if you can see here, 500 riyal. That's a big amount of money for us, for children. So you are lucky if you are having a lot of uncle and aunts and grandmother and grandfather, you're going to collect a lot of money. So they give you money and they give you little bags with the candies and they give you this money. And so this is what makes the kids are so happy and wanting to have Eid every day <laughs> because of the special caring and special gift that everybody is receiving. In my culture, my father or my husband also will give me money, not only children. So I will also receive. But in Okan culture, he doesn't give them the wife on that. So they give only to the children. So they kiss the hand and then they give the money. I said, let's follow my culture in this case. I want the, I want the money thing to, to receive it from you. So these are some differences in the culture, how they give each other the gifts. You can move on. Uh, here is the bakhur that I talked about, the smell. It's very traditional in Saudi Arabia to have, if you see the men, a different style, one is white and one is like red color is wearing in their, in their head. My dad mostly like the white one and my family mostly they do wear this one and they have the smell. So they put it inside the clothes. The full house is full of that smell. It's very strong smell. 
Some sometimes it's not really good smell. Sometimes it's really good one. So it depends how much the amount you pay for it. You get the good one. So it depends. So not all houses smell very good. Not all houses smell. <laughs> yani it depends on how the uh, smell you choose. So but it's very famous in uh, massage. They put it everywhere. Everyone is. Uh, choosing this bakhur, we call it in Saudi Arabia um, a language. You can move on. Yes, uh, you see the first pictures with the little girl. She is wearing a big uh, dress. Like this is the style in that day. So mostly the kids are wearing big dresses. So everyone is walking like a bride, like a uh, wedding time or something. So, and the, the boys, they wear this uh, tradition, the white one, not big one. The girls are wearing the big ones and they walk in like a flying birds and beautiful ones. So you can move on. Yeah, uh, so here it's kind of like a game I did to myself yesterday. I enjoyed it and it was very sad and good, a happy moment for me. Uh, Saudi Arabia Eid, uh, Eve is for, this is how we usually do it. And in America, how, what did I miss? So that's like a comparative between them. So in Saudi Arabia, uh, Eid Eve is for cleaning intensively the house. Everyone, no one sleep. After if third time, we rest for a few minutes and then we have to, everybody take shower, everybody clean the house. Oh my God, the wall, the windows, everything got cleaned up so intensively work. And we say the takbirat al-Eid. We say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And we wear all the new traditional clothes. And as you said, the bakhur is there and we decorate the house with the food, with a lot of decoration stuff. And the schools are closed. No one is there for four days. And we do this for four days, first, second, third, and fourth, we visit the family, we collect a lot of gifts and money in this, so it's a lot of good timing for us. I came to America a long time ago, almost now nine or ten years, I'm really long time I'm here, I'm not sure, and I didn't have the chance to put all my, I didn't have every year a celebration, so, but sometimes in the last three years I put it here. So it's not an intense cleaning. I don't do the intense cleaning. It's just like, okay, regular, just literal cleaning, which is a good thing. I don't want to do the intense cleaning. It's very tiring. And not preparing traditional food. I, I just feel alone is not something that, okay, it's just sad memory. I just talk to them on the phone. I see it, but I don't make it. Uh, no decorating house. So also missing that. No visiting families but I visit friends. So that's a good thing. It, sometimes, it, sometimes I find friends are available. Sometimes friends are not available because of the work and the regular life is happening on that day as well. And school are open, but not HIU. And I was happy on our class time, actually. With into winter, we had a class, but it was no class. I said, okay, we're celebrating it. That's a good thing. So thank you to HIU that caring about the religious um, prayer and this uh, very important to us okay you can move on okay here is a fun part so as i said we didn't decorate the house but i did decorate the car <laughs> and actually that was in the pandemic time and it was very uh, sad lonely time really we don't have anybody to visit nothing is there and then i thought of let's celebrate my car with everyone outside and literally when we were driving the car Everyone shaking their hands to us. Everyone. <laughs> I really enjoyed the car decoration and we were happy. Uh, me and Okan and we would try to go to the park. Uh, I think it was far away. I forgot the name of it. And we have to pay uh, $10 for going inside. And the man saw the car with the decoration. He says, okay, let's not take from you this time. You go ahead without paying. I was so happy. He made my day. I said, this is amazing. Okay, God is helping me to enjoy any time. And that was before Zainab time. So that was in 2020. And then you move on. And then it came on 2021, Zainab came in my life. And, uh, and God really blessed me with this beautiful family. It's a Turkish family. 
and she uh, this woman she really took care of me while my while i was pregnant and then she made the heat for us as the way we do it in saudi arabia and that was so beautiful so we did the cleaning in her house and then we did the decoration a little bit and she made amazing breakfast for all of us and you can see okan and her husband and her daughter and my baby little daughter she was so little at that time and we shaved her hair so she doesn't have hair at that time and it was so beautiful time it began get better and better every year so this year you can move on yeah this year is uh i, I don't know we didn't plan to do this you, you can see in the newspaper we are in the newspaper me and baby zainab <laughs> We enjoyed in the Excel Center, praying so big crowd, and all people are there from everywhere with the different traditional clothes. I was so happy flying to see it. So I visited that little baby infant. She was wearing beautiful dress, and we couldn't handle it. Me and Zainab, we say salam, and 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 the woman just took picture of us, and I, we just came in the next day. And here we visited friends. Uh, I was happy to have a little family of uh, friends to visit this year. So me and Okan and Zainab visited because I want Zainab to have the tradition of visiting and celebrating and eating a little bit together. And it's only five, five minutes everywhere, alhamdulillah. So we visited three families on that day. That's a big accomplishment for us to do in America. And then you can move on. Yeah, that's a little baby. She was a happy and smiling baby. I am in love with her and I couldn't forget. And I hope one day I can see her in my life again. Yeah, you can move on. Yeah, here is a, a song that uh, it has Arabic and it has English and maybe other different languages with the different pictures that show you around the world. So let's, we can watch it maybe. If we have the time, we can do it for five minutes. If we don't have the time, just can make it. Okay.
enjoy this happy day. Eid on Mubarak, come on, let's celebrate. Eid on Said, let's enjoy this happy day. Eid on Mubarak, come on, let's celebrate. Yes, thank you so much for uh, listening. Now Zainab want to sing. So thank you for listening and thank you for uh, inviting me to do this uh, presentation. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you Inas for this lovely presentation. It was um, the joy for you, the joy actually depicted in your voice. So it was um, amazing. Thank you. Um, so this brings and to this community prayer today, uh, we'll move to Interfaith Cafe. I'll be leading it today. So you are more than welcome to stay and uh, for further conversations.